Hey, everybody. Uh, this one's normal distribution. So this is where we do the it, it ties in all that Z score stuff, uh, the real life application. So here we go. This is part one. So I'll split this up into two days right here. Okay. So finding probabilities uh, with normal distribution. So normal distributions, they happen everywhere in life. So pretty much in nature, anything in nature, shoe size of a particular age of somebody or a weight of, say, one-year-old babies or 10-year-old kids or whatever, 10-year-old boys, 10-year-old girls. These all have normal distributions. Uh, state test scores are always normal, and then they're infinitely everywhere, you guys. You can do... I don't know, the heights of trees or anything, but they always make, you know, a normal distribution on all of that stuff. So all of these have their own mean, which is mu and standard deviation, which is that sigma symbol. So we're going to um, uh, need a conversion to fit for our z-score table, our normal um, uh, our, golly, our normal distribution table, so to calculate the probability of an event, okay? So our z-score uh, formula here, you guys, is uh, z equals x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation, where x is the number that they want you to focus on with your word problem, okay? So I just slid that up right there. Here's one. A survey indicates that people uh, keep their cell phones on average of 1.5 years before buying a new one. Okay, I am way past that. Uh, the standard deviation is 0.25 years. Uh, a cell phone user is selected at random. Find the probability that the user will keep their phone with the following times, okay? And assume that these are always normally distributed, okay? Otherwise, we can't do that. All right, less than a year, okay? So let me just scroll that up to get some room. So that's our X, you guys. So X equals one year, and our mu is, um, it says, on average right here. So there's our mu, 1.5 years, and there's our standard deviation right there. And we're looking for the probability that that uh, person is going to keep their phone for less than a year right there. Okay, so well, let's go ahead and get our Z-score value right there. Always draw a normal curve. If you don't, then I'll give you some, ding you some points on your work right there, okay? Right here in the middle is your average. So our average here is 1.5 years. And then, um, uh, and then we want to know who keeps their phone less than a year. All right, so Z equals X minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Our X is the 1, so minus the 1.5 divided by the 0.25, and we get negative 2. So we're looking for the probability that a Z-score is less than negative 2 standard deviations away, okay? So we look up our standard normal table and then make sure you are, and I made my students pull their books out and look it up. And uh, so negative 2, which is negative 2.00. So you look that up and you should get 0 0.0228, which just means that about 2.28% of the cell phone users will keep their phones for less than a year. And I asked my students, is that unusual? Yes, it is, because it's less than 5% of a year, okay, or 5%. So if it's unusual if it's less than 5%, okay? All right. So uh, greater than a year, okay? Well, what if it's greater than a year? Well, look, you guys, if this is less than a year, which is 2.28%, then this is the rest of them, you guys. So greater than a year would be the other side. So it's going to be 1 minus that. Or since we're talking about percents, it's 100% minus a 2.28, so about 97.72% of the people will have their phone for more than a year, okay? How about keep their phones between one year and 1.5 years, okay? That's this area right here. Here's one year. Here's the average 1.5 years. Well, we know that this is 50% and this is 50%, so we're just going to take 50 minus this guy right there, and that'll be this area. So let's shade that in right there. We're looking for that area right there. So we do 0.5 because the whole half of a curve is 0.5, and then we subtract off this little piece right here, and that's going to give us this little guy right here. So uh, so about 47.72% uh, of the people would keep their phones between one year and 1.5 years. How about keep their phones uh, between one year and two years? Okay, well, one year and two years. Well, here's one year, and then here's uh, up to two years. So we're, we're going to include that side. Sorry, let me slide that back. So when we include that side, we just double that. So about 95.44% of the people. All right, so uh, this is our example on page uh, 247. So it goes like this. Uh, a survey indicates that for each trip to the supermarket, a shopper spends an average, here's our mean, of 45 minutes with the standard deviation of 12 minutes in the store. Okay, the lengths of time spent in the store are normally distributed. 
uh, and all represented by the variable x. So here we go, a shopper enters the store. So the first part is they want us to find the probability that the shopper will be in the store for each interval of time that they're gonna ask. And then the second part is interpret that answer if 200 shoppers enter the store with uh, that amount of time. So how many shoppers would you expect to be in the store for each interval of time listed after the 200? Okay, so between 24 and 54. Okay, so that's this area on a curve right here. So um, our standard deviation is 12. Here's the mean of 45 minutes. And then here's 54 right here. Here's 24 right here. Okay, now when we um, get our, let's get our conversion z-score numbers right there. Okay, so here it is, x minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. These are my x's, 24 and 54 right there, okay? Okay, so we get a z-score of negative 1.75, and uh, so this is going to be a z-score right here, negative 1.75, and this is going to be a z-score of 0.75. Now, when we look them up on the table, negative 1.75 would be this little chunk right here, this little piece right there. And then when we look up 0.75, it's going to be from here all the way over. So do you remember what we do with those two probabilities? we end up subtracting them, okay? So anyways, the probability that a uh, shopper is, is, uh, spends his time in the store between 24 minutes and 54 minutes is the same as our probability of our Z scores between negative 1.75 and positive 0.75. Okay, I just slid that up, okay? So we look up our standard normal table, table and we get uh, uh, the z-score, negative 1.75, to be about 0 0.0401, and the z-score of 0.75 to the left of that is going to be about 0.7734, so we subtract those two, and we get about 73.33%. All right, now the second part says, now use that, and if we have 200 shoppers, you guys, so right here, interpret your answer if 200 shoppers enter the store. Well, this percentage of the 200 shoppers will be in that time zone of 24 minutes to 54 minutes. So we just multiply 200 times that probability, and we get about 147 shoppers to be in the store between 24 minutes and 54 minutes, okay? All right, let's try another one here. So here, more than 39 minutes, okay? So same scenario, same mean, same standard deviation. So here's our X right here. Now, more than means it's going to be to the right, okay? Now, remember, the mean is 45, so 39 is over here to the left, all right? When we look, when we get our conversion of Z, we're going to get this answer over here. So we're going to do 1 minus it to get this side over here. Does that ring a bell? Okay, so the z-score is negative 0.5. So look that up on the standard normal table, and we get um, uh, this little area right here. I should have shaded that, but this area right here is 0 0.3085. So this area is 1 minus 0 0.3085. So it's about 69.15% that are in the store for more than 39 minutes. Okay, now what if 200 shoppers went in there? We multiply 200 times that, and we get about 138 shoppers will be in the store more than 29 minutes. Yeah, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but that's a good approximation. All right, that's a good stopping point right there. If you're in my class, that's going to be your assignment. Take care.